13 laps are in, a white knuckle battle for first. Reedy slips in turn number one. The edge goes to McGee down the back straightaway. McGee doesn't have enough momentum to propel him past Brian Reedy, and they make contact out of four. Give the nod to Preston McGee, but he can't close the door on Reedy. Contact in turn number one. Close quarter racing. Third is still contended down the back straightaway. Scott Lancaster had it, but he's going to lose at least one position to Carl Badevsky. Sutphin trying to follow through the hole, and all of a sudden the freight train is to the inside of Lancaster, who just bounced it off the wall. Lancaster into the fence down the front straightaway, and the 22 has had trouble. The top man in the standings, all he needed to do was post a quiet, consistent night, and all of a sudden a good night has soured for the 22 of Scott Lancaster. He is plummeting through the field. Lancaster bounced it off the wall, lap number 20. And now one lap later, Lancaster in jeopardy of falling outside the top 10. Reedy surrendering second to the 26 of Badevsky out of turn two. And here comes Brian Sutphin. The great run continues for the 11 team. Sutphin is into fourth. He's hitched up to the back bumper of Carl Badevsky, and those two are moving towards the front. And there appears to be a problem on Brian Reedy's machine. Reedy is slow down the back straightaway. Both of the top contenders in the points incurring trouble. It could be a tire going down for the 17, and indeed it is. Right front, front is going flat on Brian Reedy's machine. And just like that, Reedy is headed for pit road. Scott Lancaster soldiering along in 13th position. What could have been a mammoth swing in the standings, the pendulum for the moment is swaying back in the direction of Scott Lancaster. The crew quickly to work trying to change that right front tire as soon as possible, but Reedy already one lap down, and this could be the final nail in the coffin. Nine laps of racing remaining. McGee snaps loose, still trying to save it. Badevsky has the lead. Sutphin, they're three wide into turn three. A great save by Preston McGee, and now it's Carl Badevsky out front. McGee trying to rally back, time running out, and Brian Sutphin has had a great car tonight. His number 11 machine slips out of turn number two. McGee trying to capitalize as they go off into three. A mad scramble, less than 10 laps remaining. Carl Badevsky out front showing the way over Brian Sutphin, Preston McGee, and Charlie Watson. Into two laps of racing remaining the gap. Stands at about a car length and a half, three tenths of a second, the margin from Carl Badevsky to Brian Sutphin. Nearly the entire field single file is coming down to this. Brian Sutphin searching for his first ever win in the Collision Plus Limited Sportsman Division. Badevsky searching for his first win of 2014 at the 416th mile oval, and the white flag is out. One car length out of turn two and down the back straightaway for the final time. Preston McGee faltered on a late race restart, and Carl Badevsky was given a gift. He'll capitalize and win his first race of 2014 Brian Sutphin finishes second, Preston McGee comes home third, and your 2014 Collision Plus Limited Sportsman Division track champion is Scott Lancaster. Man, I have no idea. Uh, Carl and I went together, we had a good restart, and I got before I got to the corner, the car was sideways backing her down in there, and I just, the year we've had, I'm glad we finished in one piece, man. We've had nothing but bad luck. I was happy to bring a third out of this. It's something to build on for next year. Uh, I was chasing Preston and them down, uh, and I knew it was just going to be a battle to turn one with me and Preston. And uh, you know, Preston's a class act. I heard his tires squalling inside my car, as loud as it is, and uh, I'm just thankful he didn't get into me. But he's got great car control. Uh, but the best car won tonight, and uh, we proved that we can we can still win a race, even. So we we won the same race last year. Uh, but we're in with the winter circle.